Bonjour tout le monde. Today we are in Jalotza Ferrano Kitchen. We will prepare together a recipe that appeals to children and grown-ups. The buffet rolls. Let's start. Let's prepare the patachou. These are the ingredients we need. Flour, butter, water, milk, salt, sugar, whole eggs, an extra water and one egg yolk to brush the shoe before baking. Let's place our saucepan on the heating stove and put all the water, the milk, sugar, salt and butter. Bring milk, water, salt and sugar to a boil and then add to the flour with the help of a spatula. Let's add it all at once, like this, and then stir. Don't worry about lumps. You have to cook it until you get a thin layer at the bottom of the pan. Now we add to the eggs one at a time and stir. At the beginning it looks a bit strange because the pata choux is not homogeneous. It almost seems like broken mayo. You have to keep stirring until the egg blends perfectly with the pata choux. After adding the last egg, we stir a l'ancienne old school. Once ready, we transfer it to the pipe and bag. We have put the batashu in the pipe and bag. Now we tighten it well, make a small knot to prevent the batashu from coming out on the other side. Here I use a 12 or 13 millimeters piping nozzle. Here we have a plate with a sheet of parchment paper. So to fix it, we make a few dots on the corners, like this, and also one in the center, so that the sheet does not move during cooking. Now let's go and make small shoe like this without being afraid of leaving the tip, because afterwards we will flatten it with a little water. Now with a spoon, a little water, we go to flatten our tip so that the cooking shoe is uniform. Yet another small trick, an egg yolk, a brush, a drop of water. This will allow us to have a uniform colouring. Now let's cook it. 220 degrees static oven for 15 minutes. Then we lower the temperature to 180 degrees for 20 minutes with open valve.
Let's prepare the chocolate sauce. We need sugar, water, cream, fleur de sel, and dark chocolate. Let's start with the water. I pour it all in. And all the sugar too. We add to the cream and wait for the second boil. Second boil reached, we add the dark chocolate. We boil it for the last time, after which we pour the chocolate sauce into the bowl. When the boil is reached, let's pour the chocolate sauce. How wonderful! We add to the fleur de sel. Mm. Don't forget to taste it and the salt are used to enhance the flavors. Let it cool to room temperature until the sauce is thick enough to veil your cream puffs. For the Chantilly cream, we need icing sugar cream with 35% fat and vanilla. Now freeze a cold bowl. We put the cream in. I'll start whipping the cream. It already begins to have a more consistent thickness than before. And now we add half the ice and sugar. And we also add to the vanilla. Then we cut it in two, without touching the bottom. We open it, and then we scrape it well. Now we keep mixing it. Okay, we are almost there. Before the cream reaches a bit firm consistency, we add to the rest of the ice and sugar. A little tip for home. If your cream is not greasy enough, add a tablespoon of mascarpone. In this case, you will have an even firmer consistency and will last longer. Now let's put it in the piping bag. Now, with the help of our piping nozzle, we will pierce our cream puffs. Like this. It's time to fill them. I keep going like this with all the others and then I cover them with a cling film and put them in the refrigerator for a few minutes. 
Now, the most beautiful moment of the recipe has arrived. We dip the shoe in the chocolate sauce. We gently tap the edge of the bowl with a fork to remove the exciting sauce, like this. And then we place them here. Now it's time to make a pyramid of cream puffs. Just a few dollops of Chantilly cream to decorate it. And here is my profiteroles rolls ready. You two now from home can make it like a real pro. Try it yourself.